Well, we're hearing new reaction this morning to Pope Francis' appointment of Providence Diocese Bishop Richard Henning as the new Archbishop of Boston. Henning will formally be installed as Archbishop in Boston October 31st. And with the new role comes new challenges. Joe Cortez live in studio with that part of the story. Patrick Kate Richard Henning will be stepping into this role during a polarizing election year. Father Thomas Moore Garrett with Providence College says there hasn't yet been an opportunity to see how he might respond in politically charged environments. Now, Father Garrett says that opportunity will be there in Boston during yesterday's press conference. Henning was asked if he anticipates being an activist when it comes to big issues like immigration and abortion. He stated, quote, my stance in Providence has been that I'm a pastor, not a politician. Now, Cardinal Sean O'Malley, who Henning will replace came to Boston in 2002 when the Archdiocese was entangled in a large sex abuse scandal. Mitchell Garabedium, who's been representing clergy sexual abuse victims in Boston and Providence, says that these changes are reopening wounds for victims, and some victims believe Bishop Henning will ignore the problem. Bishop Henning has not been a strong voice for victims of clergy sexual abuse by any means, and he has not done any substantive work that would help protect children. When these uh, crimes and sins were committed, I was also a child. That, you know, I'm grateful to God that I, I was not affected by it personally, but people in my generation were. Um, so I think uh, those survivors, they deserve, uh, you know, they deserve a listening heart. It's unclear who will replace Henning in the Providence Diocese, but it'll be up to the Pope to appoint his successor. Live in studio, Joe Cortez, 12 News.